This is in response to Orly Tights um, claims and misrepresentations that Barack Obama is not qualified to be the president of this country. Ms. Tights, you're nothing but a Soviet pig. Who are you to tell the American people who their president ought or ought not be? The American people selected him, regardless of your claims. The American people selected him. The Constitution is based on the majority. It is not based on uh, loopholes as you'd like to believe. Orly, the President of the United States was born in Hawaii. You claim that the birth certificate does not show the name of the hospital. Also, you claim that it does not contain the proper signatures. Are you aware, Mrs. Tights, that in the past 100 years, the Hawaiian birth certificate has changed no less than seven times in format? And you come forward with your conspiracy theories after you make these statements, you look like nothing but a, a conservative puppet. Orly, you have no, no right to come here and dictate to us what our democracy needs to be or how it needs to be run. And to run roughshod on the Supreme Court, you've already had one case thrown out of court for being frivolous. Give it up, lady. This man was elected as our president. We don't want to change it. Those that do have that opportunity in three and a half years to vote for another person to become president, why don't you get involved in that and actually participate in the democratic process? If you don't like it, Orly, pack up and go back to Russia. The bottom line is, the American people elected Barack Hussein Obama. If you can't handle that, you have a right to leave. If you can't handle it, you have a right to vote to change that. Short of that, why don't you shut your Soviet mouth and move back to Siberia or wherever the hell it was you come from and go spout your garbage in the Soviet Union or in Russia. I'm sure over there you wouldn't get away with the garbage you're trying to pull here. I wish you'd wake up. This birther movement is not, nothing but a bunch of crap. The American people elected this man. If you're trying to say he's not qualified because you don't like the way that the birth certificate looked, well, I don't know what to tell you. But if you go back in American history, you're going to find that George Washington's father wasn't born in America. If you really look at it, George Washington's father was not born in America. How was he qualified to be our leader? Nobody wants to talk about that. Then nobody wants to talk about this. Orly, pack up and take your Soviet ass and your 65 cent legal degree and your your, uh, what did you get that legal degree from? A uh, uh, machine on the outside of uh, Kmart there where you put a quarter in and twist the handle? Is that where your degree come from? Sounds like it. Orly, get a life. Leave the president alone. And why don't you put all that energy that you're spouting off into feeding the hungry or taking care of much more terrible injustices in the world. If you'd put that energy to good use, you might be able to accomplish something worth accomplishing. Okay. Shut up, Orly.